Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to configure Cisco devices from NetBook with integration and WX. We are have a hook. I shortly explain you steps for you. First steps we will create host for Cisco devices in AdBlix by DNS name. For example, in my infrastructure, if you see my preview video, it is R1, R2, R3, and so on, so on. Not by IP address, by host name. Second step is create Ansible playbook in Git. The third step is create project in AdBlix and sync with Git. Project in AdBlix allows us to copy playbook from Git to local AdBlix Docker container and uh, then run from local. Next step is create credentials in AdBlix. This credentials for connection to Cisco devices and password for enable mode. We will create. A template in AdBlix. Template it means uh, like Ansible playbook in Ansible. Next steps we are create application for AdBlix API. This application allows us to connect to AdBlix from third part application like Netbox and so on. And also in seventh steps we are create token for authorization through API in our application. Eighth step we are create webhook in netbox and uh, we target to AWX API by URL for launch our job. You see it later, I show you. And uh, last steps, when we all setting up in our AWX and netbox, we are ad update our interface in netbox, AWX start configure our changes, for example, description in, in Cisco. And let's go on and see it, what happened. It's really interesting things. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and you don't miss my new video. This is channel is very interesting. If you see my preceded video, please start uh, seeing network automation in my playlist. It's a very interesting challenge for me and I think if you're a network engineer, you can learn something new too. Let's go ahead and get started. First, watch my infrastructure with three Cisco routers and one suite. Also, you look at my netbox. Actually, I have already added devices to netbox. I did it and explain it in my video how to add devices to netbox through api and now you see all interfaces in my devices i did it with python as well let's go to adblix and create host in adblix inventory and enter i have already created my inventory file called cisco routers let's change uh, host to by host name R1, R2, R3, and SW4. Before create project, I want to place my playbook to GitLab repository. You can use my repository too. Let's go gitlab.com Choose netbox repository File net webhook Here are three main variables, device ID, interface ID, and description. It is passed from my netbox to AdBlix as extra variables. You see it later. Rename my file in YAML extension and save. Now I create project. Project is project it like separated folder for your playbooks you can place your projects in git repository as you see before then synchronize with AWX AWX pull playbooks to local store and then run in with template go to repository github.com and copy URL and paste in our AWX parameters 
and books copy and paste in SEM URL field update revision on launch your job clean also click save now you have to see how your project is synchronized with GitLab repository when green circle stop blink it means the our repository is synchronized now let's create credentials credentials for connection through AWX to our Cisco routers I have already created let's look at this Cisco username password for username and all also enable mode privilege method and uh, privilege escalation password now let's create template its name is Cisco webhook job type run mm -hmm. inventory choose uh, created before Cisco router project name Cisco webhook choose it choose our NetWebhook YAML playbook from Git repository and credential Cisco routers. Yes, okay, okay. Next, next. Uh, enable privilege escalation. It's enable mode. It's you enter in enable and prompt on launch. Don't forget this. go to appliance we have to create application that allows us connect to AWX job with authorization through AWX API I called it API description webhook from netbox organization default You can define URL like mine, but change ID to your job template and change your IP address. Just save client ID, client secret somewhere so you can find it easily again. I save it into notepad. Now go to netbox and uh, let's create the hook. Click admin admin. Web hook. Add web hook. Click. Find object type interface. I called it change interfaces next enable event only type update when you update webhook will be start enter your URL copy that and paste into URL field in additional headers you have to define authorization type and client ID what we saved early copy client ID from your temporary store also below secret field define your secret client secret copy this as well in body te template 
you have to define parameters to be passed from netbox to AWX. Click save. Webhook is ready. As you can see, enable it, type update. Only when update interface, we pass parameter from netbox to AWX. Now the interesting part is checking. Let's have a look to interface configuration. Note the description. Interfaces, description, IP automation 101, go to netbox and make your changes in description. For example, IP webhook, click update and netbox will send post request with parameters to AWX and launch job. Let's have a look job log. As you can see, passed parameters from netbox. AWX configured the device and has changed the description of changed interfaces. Description is changed. Description IP with hook in preparation like in Netbox. You can automate with Netbox and the IWX everything you want, not only description, but for example IP address, one ID and other parameters is up to you. Hands up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Telegram channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.